Hey, it's Sasha Evdikov and welcome to this week's episode of Traders Fly TV. In this episode, I want to cover the concept of portfolio diversification. What does it mean and should you be diversified? There's a lot of articles on the web. There's a lot of people that talk about it, especially on TV, that talk about diversification and that you need to be diversified, you should be diversified. And uh, we are getting all this influence from a lot of other areas, channels, input social media talking about diversification so first off what is diversification diversification is about spreading your risk if you have a large investment portfolio or a large investment bank uh, then you may want to spread out your risk and this is in case something happens uh, so in case of a huge catastrophic event in the case of a huge market sell-off uh, you want to be diversified and spread your risk out so that way not one thing takes a huge dive because oftentimes many people can't get out of positions quick enough or if you have a large holding you'll actually take the market even lower so diversification is just about spreading your risk now to simplify this concept i want to talk about it in terms of food because i think we can all relate to food we all have to eat every day so uh, let me just give you a little insight behind it with food so here I have a glass jar and in it I have three pieces of chocolate uh, the Lindor truffle chocolates okay so right now we have it somewhat diversified so if we had uh, you know a Hershey company and another chocolate company or another food company it would be somewhat diversified but as we add new things uh, to this little bowl taking into account that this bowl is our portfolio, as we add something like a tomato, now all of a sudden there's something new in the mix. Our portfolio is different. And if we use the food example, I always like to look at which investment is going to spoil first. Now with chocolate versus a tomato, chances are the tomato is going to spoil first. Then if you want to diversify it further, let's just say you add another asset, We'll go ahead and add an apple so now we have an apple a few chocolates and a tomato so these could be representing uh, different companies like a technology company apple a chocolate company maybe hershey and a tomato company like a potash or something like that or a monsanto so they're all uh, representing different companies and which companies are spoiling first is typically the ones you may want to get rid of or if companies are very profitable Maybe you want to take a piece out, like a chocolate, and take some of your profits out. So that's kind of what diversification really does uh, in order to uh, you know, keep your portfolio a little bit safer. Now, if you have uh, less than, let's say, $50,000 or $100,000 in your trading account, diversification becomes a little bit more tricky. And especially it becomes more tricky once you start uh, managing over five positions. And I always say, if you have less than $100,000 in your trading account, you shouldn't be trading more than five different types of stocks because your mind and mental focus is going to be split here and there. Instead, focus on the things that'll last the longest. So in this example, which thing would last the longest? Probably not the tomato, so we'll take this out, and probably not the apple, okay? And uh, chocolates would probably last the longest, and it would probably give me the best bang for my buck and the best return. So I'll put more chocolates in. But if I do want to somewhat hedge or somewhat adjust my risk, maybe I'll put one more thing in there or half of something, and then it'll diversify it a little bit. So it's just really a concept of knowing your risk, knowing what you have in your portfolio and adjusting it. But if you're always watching something, if you're always looking at something uh, and seeing how is it acting, how is it behaving, if I'm always constantly looking at the tomato or the company that's very volatile that could spoil at any time, even though it may give me great returns, that's okay if I hold on to a lot of stock in this tomato company because I'm always watching for if things change. And if I ever see a dark spot, a bad spot, something just isn't acting right, then I'll go ahead and get rid of this tomato or get rid of my stock. So that's how I would go and approach 
uh, diversification when it comes to uh, my portfolio. It's really just knowing and understanding risk. And I think the food example is always uh, the best way to explain it because we can all relate to food and how it goes badly. So uh, that's what you want to watch for when you're managing your stock trades and your positions. And you always want to have this little mix or a bowl uh, of different stocks uh, that you can change out from time to time or maybe have a little bit of a flavor or variety because certain things will spoil faster than others. Hope that you found this video helpful. If you did and you want to see the stocks that I'm watching in the current market conditions, then go ahead, click this link right here and enter your name and email address when you get to that website. And that way I'll send you my uh, latest rapid recaps when they come out. And if you're interested to condense your trading education and you want to take your trading to a much higher level, then go ahead and take a look at some of my in-depth stock market educational video courses at tradersfly.com. Thanks for watching this video and sticking with me. And remember that there's more to life than just money. Go out, do what you love, contribute to other people, and most importantly, live life abundantly. I'll see you next time.